everybody, this is Scott Roller. This is a video and a series of videos I'm going to be making supporting blog articles that I've uh, written uh, in the past and going forward. Uh, this is my uh, blog site, uh, 365-thoughts.com. And uh, the article that we're going to be talking about today is this one. This is uh, filter by keyword. How do you change the search columns? This is fairly simple and it's not going to take us long to go through. But this is a question that I get asked quite a bit by system admins, so I thought it'd be good to write an article and supporting video about it. Uh, also, my uh, YouTube page is out here, and on YouTube, I'm Scott Roller 6087 I may change that uh, in the future to make it a little more personable, but here you can find all the other videos that I've posted, and all my future videos will be out there, uh, along with... If you go back to my blog, if you go to videos, it'll take you to that um, YouTube uh, channel as well. So let's dive right into it um, and uh, uh, talk about the topic that we're uh, talking about today. If we uh, get into um, uh, a Power App uh, in, uh, you know, in, in Power Platform, get a Power App here. We're talking about these sections up here in the upper right-hand corner. We're talking about filter by keyword, and then later we're going to talk about the uh, uh, modern uh, advanced find a little bit too, just to kind of cover all the topics up here of uh, edit columns and uh, edit the filter. One of the first things uh, with uh, filter by keyword and 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 the whole uh, kind of point of this uh, this video is how do we change um, the different fields that we have available to search by up here? Uh, for first, first of all, the search is a begins with search. So anything you type here will search uh, in the beginning of, in this case, uh, account name and address one city. But if we want to add um, state and main phone as a part of the search criteria, how do we go about doing that? It's not real obvious, and you kind of have to know the secret behind it. So what we want to do is uh, open up uh, the advanced settings. So the way that we would do that is go up here to the uh, gear in the upper right hand corner, go to advanced settings, and that'll open up this tab. And then in this tab, we can go to either the, uh, we can go into customizations and edit the uh, default solution, or probably the better way, if we're going to uh, do this in dev or in a test environment and promote it to production, is to create a, our own small uh, solution could be a part of a bigger solution, but it's the uh, components that we're working on right now that we want to change and push up to a uh, into a higher environment. So I've done that by uh, creating this uh, account by uh, keyword uh, uh, solution. And so we're loading our solution here and we'll see here in a uh, couple seconds when it's done loading that uh, we can get into uh, entities. And then I put accounts uh, in this solution and it's a really simple solution. I only have what I needed, um, which is a good uh, rule of thumb for solutions anyway. Just kind of put exactly what you need in there and keep them small. Uh, and then if you go into views, you can uh, you can see the view that is uh, that we need to change. This is the quick find view. So the quick find active accounts view. And if I open that up, then we'll get some columns, but the columns aren't that important uh, for this view. What is important is this add find columns. This is what we're wanting to change so that we can change our search criteria in the uh, filter by, by keyword. So if we open that up, we can see that the account name and city are selected as we saw before. But if we want to add, um, if we want to be able to search by state and province, and then also, if I scroll down to main phone and select it and say OK, well, now after I save and close, and sometimes this takes uh, a few uh, seconds, so we'll have to wait for that to happen. And then I'll publish uh, next. And then we'll see that those uh, fields are added to our filter by keyword search. And we can then uh, filter with, once again, with a begins with a query to find records, in this case, accounts that match that search criteria. 
Okay, so the uh, save is done, um, and through the magic of video editing, uh, you didn't have to watch that whole process, and now we're going to do a publish all in this solution, and most likely through the magic of video editing, we will also uh, get to the end very quickly. Okay, here we are. The publishing process is done, and let's go out and uh, see uh, what has happened. If I switch back over to my main Power App window, and I do a Control F5, which is a what I like to refer to as a hard uh, refresh. It'll refresh everything on the screen and, get, and go out and grab all new uh, data and customizations and everything after the publish has happened. If we uh, go up here to the filter by keyword box once again, now we can see that we have account name, we have city, but we also have state and main phone that we can search on if we want to. So the next components, uh, so we could do a search if we wanted to and find accounts in the system based on that. And let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and do that real fast and see what happens. So if I just uh, type in red, and I'm trying to find this Redmond here, if I type in red and do a search, now we'll find all of the accounts that have uh, Redmond in the name, or would have found any of them that had red in account name, uh, state, or main phone as well. So I'm going to cancel out of that. And then um, we can talk about the modern advanced find. This is ways, uh, this is a uh, really cool way that we can change the columns in a view or the edit criteria without changing the view itself. So we're not making permanent changes, we're just making temporary changes to the way that the view behaves and is viewed. So if I go into uh, edit columns, we can see that these are the columns that are currently listed in the view. And I could uh, then uh, remove some columns if I wanted to. So I might go ahead and remove this uh, email, uh, the email for the primary contact. And then I can add some columns as well while I'm here. And I wanna add um, state and industry. So I'm gonna scroll down and find address one state. And I'm going to scroll down also and find industry. I'm going to close this. I'm going to apply it. And we'll see that the uh, primary email for the primary contact was removed. And now we have state and industry uh, as columns in our selection. We can also use the uh, edit filters. So right now I'm in the active accounts view, which is really just, as we can see here, all accounts that have an active status. But I can go and I can uh, add more rows here if I want to and expand my uh, query. And so I want to see where, um, I want to see all the accounts that are active that also have an industry that is consulting. So I want to see all the active accounts that are in the consulting industry. If I hit apply there, now it finds the four accounts that meet that criteria. You, you might have also noticed, or I'll point out now, that up here in the upper, where, where the uh, uh, view is listed, now there's an asterisk next to uh, active accounts. So it wasn't that way before, but now it's showing you the changes have been made to this view. And one of the cool things we can do is we can save this as a new view, which is a personal view. It'll only be available to the user that created it or anybody that they share it to. So it's kind of more of a private type of view. And uh, I'm going to give it a simple name. We need to give it a, a unique name so that we know what it is. I'm going to call it Scott's Active Contacts or Accounts. Actually, let's, let's do this. Let's uh, call it uh, Consulting Active Accounts. That makes sense since that's part of the uh, search criteria and uh, hit save. And now we can see that we have a view that can be reused over and over again that is uh, consulting active accounts and it has a little person next to it so we know that it's a personal view. We know that unless we share this out to people that they won't be able to uh, use this view. So that may be something we wanna keep to ourselves, just something we use over and over again or then we can share it out to other people if we want. So the way we would do that is come down to manage and share views. It's going to bring up a list of all those views. From here, there's a uh, 
a menu available for that personal view where I could share it out to other people. I can uh, delete it if I want to, which um, if you have a bunch of personal views and you find that you don't need some of them or you created one and you're like, yeah, I don't really need that any longer, you can always delete it and get it out of the system. And you're not deleting anything that's a system uh, type of uh, view or, or data, just something that you created yourself. So that is pretty much what I wanted to uh, talk about today with the filter by keyword search and the edit columns, the uh, uh, edit filters, and then creating your own personal view. Uh, once again, I'm Scott Roller. Uh, my uh, blog is um, my blog is uh, 365-thoughts.com. Please, uh, you know, visit here to get any information about me, other articles. Uh, you can get to my videos from here. And then also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get uh, future videos I'm going to make. I'm going to try to put out maybe one a week or one every couple of weeks to support uh, the blog articles that I'm also writing. So thanks a lot, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. <laughs>